So, I told you I was going to make another video um, about this house and how we um, got here or how we were able to get this place. Um, it's kind of a long story, but I'll try not to bore you. <laughs> um, it's really not boring to us. Anyway, it's really special. Um, it started back when we were in the process of selling our home. Um, our first home. And um, we had a three acre property and um, my husband, while we were engaged, had bought it. Um, and was able to clear it, put down a bunch of fill um, to raise it up enough to be level, um, not perfectly, but so that we could set the trailer that he had also purchased um, for us to start our lives in. Um, together in October um, on the 22nd of 2005 um, and then we lived there for 10 years and had it on the market a couple different times um, and anyway in 2006 15, no, 16 of last winter, um, there was a purchase offer made, and we accepted, and found out later it was even some, um, a couple that were going to be getting married that we attended church with. So, that was neat, and, um, we hit with regulations and stuff with the banks and whatnot. We hit quite a few walls, um, red flags, um, not knowing what to do. Um, um, did, was that a sign from the Lord saying, don't, don't go, stay here. Um, it's not time to move. We had prayed about it. Um, my husband really felt um, in leading us toward um, an area where he was working um, so that we could be closer and it wouldn't be an hour drive. So anyway, he felt that he had peace in that and thought we should put it back on the market. Um, before this purchase offer, we actually had two other people come to us, one family and one, um, was friend, a good friend, um, co-worker I had years ago, interested in the place as well. <laughs> um, and it had been off the market since November. Um, we decided to put it, relist it back on the market. Um, so that, yeah, we could just have things, um, in hopes to go, you know, smoother or whatnot. But like I said, there was flags that came up in the process with the banks and such that things that we didn't, we weren't even aware, um, were an issue. Um, one was the water, one was something with the septic and major things that, we never had issues with that we knew. Um, nothing was ever like backing up. Um, it's not like we had ever gotten sick off the water. Um, we had it tested, it was fine. We even had a water softener guy come to try to sell us a water softener. And he was like, oh, your water's actually pretty good. <laughs> we had well water. Um, we'd never run out of water even when so many people were um, hauling water because of dry summers. Um, yeah, 
it's just it was a really great little place to start out and live and had made it our own and added on to it and that kind of thing anyway it was about 1700 square feet and we just great little place loved it we'll always have memories there and good memories and um that's one thing that we love is that no matter where we end up no matter where we are we have our memories to take with us <laughs> or pictures and or both um so yeah um then we rented over on State Route 126, a road I said I would never live on, and um, for very specific safety reasons, um, and the Lord changed my heart, and my before that, my husband had called me as he was coming home from work one day or before he came home from work and just said, I know that you said we, you don't, don't even ask about this road. Um, I won't, that you won't live on it. And yeah, I know that you said, just don't even ask, but <laughs> there was the but, um, but this is what they're gonna, they would charge us to live here a month and just so many things like the amount that they were going to charge the fact that it was kind of by itself there was neighbors close by but it, it wasn't like right on top of each other like in town would be more so um it was a place that we could have our dogs which is another issue when you're trying to find a place to rent not everybody will allow dogs um and yeah one fun thing i said well before the fun thing, okay, back up. So I said, well, can we at least like look at it first before we decide and tell the guy that sure thinks, you know, we'll do that. Um, and he was like, yeah, we can do that. So we went to look at it. I think it was a Sunday afternoon. And right when we walked in the side door into the kitchen, um, it was the door that's unlocked and we had to go through anyway, but anyway, once we walked through like a little mudroom entryway, whatever, into the kitchen, right away I noticed a dishwasher. Now, for a good seven years, I've had, um, these bubbles on my hands that are really itchy, um, and stuff, and they come and go and that kind of thing, and the Lord has, like, truly healed me of that, um, to where there was just like no bubbles. Um, I spoke about that in church and just gave the Lord glory and thanked him for that. And I just continue to believe um, that they are healed. Um, regardless if they were to ever come back or not, I just, I'm gonna keep believing they're healed and just keep rebuking the enemy um, if he were to ever try to um, make anything come back. So, back to the dishwasher. I was super excited because I had a dishwasher at the first home, and it was such a blessing because of my hand issue. My hands would get really raw and sore and crack and bleed and dry, and no matter how much lotion or different soap or how I ate, I tried so many different things to help it and tried to not, not be stressed out and relax and yeah, it just, <laughs> I've tried so many things and people have prayed with me and such and um, just keep hoping, believing and someday you will see the fruit of prayer and yeah, there will be healing someday. I've even said to myself, even if it got to the point where there was not healing on this earth, in eternity, I was not going to have this issue because there's nothing bad up there. So there will be healing sometime. And anyway, I was able to see that before then. So that's that was exciting. But um, the dishwasher was a huge blessing to me because it really helped 
with my hands not being in the water so much. I don't believe that the water is causing it because I feel if it was the water, then I would have this issue all over my body. Um, my, all of my skin would be allergic to water or something. And God made water like, I don't know, it seems odd to me that someone could be allergic to water, but so anyway, um, we walked through the house and such, and I decided to, um, say, um, yes, like the Lord came home and talked about it and different things, and I just got more and more excited. I feel that the Lord just stirred up an excitement in me about this place, and yeah, we could really make this our own, and, um, I was learning through all these flags and these things and the roller coaster of tests and such for that the bank needed was selling the first home that we need to persevere through trials and tribulations and continue to trust the Lord in all of it, regardless of what the circumstances looked like. So we really feel that that's what we learned in selling our first home. So I was like, okay, if I really believe that, for that situation, I guess I should be believing it also for protection living on this road and in this home. So I was just like, okay, oh, Lord, I am, I am really trusting you and it feels kind of scary and yet I have a peace about it an excitement and an, and a peace. It was just, it was a mix, a, a mix of emotions and it was, it was really neat, really, actually a really neat feeling. Um, I could just tell that it was the peace of the Lord. Um, so we went with it and we moved there and it was just really neat. Um, and while we were there, um, I had visions at night, um, of a sign in front of the home that we bought and we're living in now, um, saying the safe house. And, um, so I was like, what does this mean? You know, like, Lord, show us, what does this mean? Um, and my, I shared it with my husband and he had, and I had come to the idea that maybe this vision that I was having has something to do with the desire in both of our hearts to have, to be involved in foster care someday. Um, it's something we've talked about after we had our third child and, um, we had had a couple miscarriages between our first and our second. Um, we named both of our babies that are in heaven, we believe, and their names are Dominic. Um, he would have um, went to the Lord on September 22nd. And um, in 2008, and Zane went to the Lord um, May 13th, I believe it was. I feel awful that I can't even remember the date, but um, in 2009. And I believe it was May 13th because if I remember correctly, our daughter then, Eva, was born, her due date was May 13th. Um, so just those things were neat. But anyway, I have a scrapbook that I made just that was healing for me to get through some of that time. And anyway, and then we had, um, so we had Emma, we had the two, um, miscarriages. Um, Dominic was very short, six weeks, and Zane was, um, ten week, um, pregnancy and then we were able to get pregnant
pregnant for Eli, and he was born um, in April. And then we had um, a daughter, Eva, three years later. Um, and yeah, we just, since then, with different pregnancy difficulties and such, um, my husband felt that um, it would be wise to try, and I say try because the Lord can decide otherwise, regardless of what we try to do, um, try to um, decide that our family um, was complete um, for our own children, our own offspring, I should say, and then um, maybe help out with foster care or maybe even adopt someday. So anyway, we talked about that and um, so we wondered if this safe house sign had something to do with that in our future someday. Um, right now we're in the process of renovating it um, and such. The whole upstairs was gutted, um, a bedroom downstairs, and um, the mudroom is being fixed up. So anyway, we also talked about it and wondered another time, like an another day after I had the vision again, um, maybe it also meant and felt maybe there was a desire there that was stirring for helping women and children or just women um, who are in domestic violence situations and need a safe place to live for a while um, so that they are safe <laughs> um, and have a good home. So yeah, we're just, we're not sure what the Lord has for us in that, but um, it'll be interesting to see what he does with this place. Um, And my kids have already said that they, my oldest specifically, has felt really safe here. And who knows? Maybe that's what it means. That this is a safe place. That the Lord has safety here. And the, he has safety anywhere. But just for our family specifically, that we feel safe and protected and that we can cont continually trust him with the circumstances. That is all I'm going to tell you right now. Um, if I think of more on that, I'll make another video because this is probably already really long. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.